So let's turn to one of the big stories of the day, the fallout from uh, the Ballon d'Or ceremony yesterday in Paris and the fact that Vinicius Junior of Real Madrid didn't win it. And a snub, they, they regarded it as a snub, and in reply, the Real Madrid contingent, including the winner of the Manager of the Year, uh, Carlo Ancelotti, didn't go to the event and mm. very pointedly thanked not just Vinicius, but Danny Carvajal, who also would have been the shake-up after a brilliant season. So let's speak now to a man who has seen it all at Real Madrid over the years, a former president of the club, Ramon Calderon. Good afternoon, Ramon. Hello, Ramon. Hello. Good afternoon. What, what have you made of this this row between the, the Ballon d'Or and, and Real Madrid? I mean, they, they feel that the club and the player has been disrespected. What is your view on this? To judge uh, that decision, you should know what has happened, really, because... The club has said yes that they they don't feel they've been respected. That is a very ambiguous word. Mm. We don't know what that means. What, what, what does it mean to be uh, not respected? And uh, on top of that, I think uh, it was something weird that they didn't go, knowing that the the, the team was going to be awarded the title of the best club mm. of the season mm. and also Ancelotti the best coach and Mbappé the best scorer of, of the last season so difficult to understand uh, I don't know if they have any hint or any idea or evidence of an alteration of the of the system to vote but as far as I know it's a matter of uh, 100 journalists doing that around the Europe or around the world. And uh, I don't, I doubt that they they had received any indication or any instructions about to whom vote in this election. Well, I think I think you there there are the kind of leading journalists from around Europe. It's quite ironic, really, because most of the time managers and players, so they don't listen to what journalists say. So yeah. it's interesting that... This award, the Ballon d'Or, Ramon, is so prestigious. Was that the case in your time as president of the club? Was there a feeling that the players and the club and the manager wanted to win this award? Yeah, it's true. It's true. We, we've we had, as you know, uh, lately, Benzema, Modric, before Cristiano Ronaldo. And, of course, I think Vinicius could have been clearly the winner. I don't have any doubt. He won with the... With the, with the club, the Liga and the Champions League, Carvajal as well, but the Rodri too. And uh, I think uh, there are many criteria to choose the one to win the Ballon d'Or. In this case, the journalists uh, have said that. I I suppose so. I don't have any uh, any way to think about any 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 other case mm-hmm. that they 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 really voted in that way. Is is what we have to think, and and that's it. And and as I have said, I, if if it's, if it's a team game, why if you have all the players included in that, even uh, in that case Vinicius, why you reject mm. to receive that award and don't go to that gala? Yeah. That's the president must decide must must explain to the members. Why they didn't go? As I said at the beginning, they didn't. He didn't, or the club didn't say anything about that. Had you still been um, president, uh, Ramon, would you have insisted that the team, the manager, and the, and the players go? We are the greatest club in the world, so we have to behave accordingly. And uh, even, well, if I if I had a, a hint or. or a, clear evidence of alteration of the voting, of course, I would have said this is not uh, respectful for the club. But uh, if not, of course, I would have said you have to be there in our hymn, we are anthem, we say when we lose, we shake hands. And um, it's you, you, you should uh, show the respect for, in this case, for Rodri. By the way, a Spanish player that has been yeah. Awarded after I think sixty three years that a Spanish player hadn't been awarded this title, so I think it's a pity. I think uh, that has harmed our image, and I hope that it's not going to 
many people to complain about that, to blame us not to be there. Do you think it had anything to do with the defeat in the Classico at the weekend at the Bernabeu? Uh, what do you think, Ramon? I don't know. I don't know really, but but I <clears throat> I know the some of the journalists they've said that uh, there's another criteria this year is the the behavior of the players on and off the field, but mainly on, of course, on the field. Mm. And, and it seems that in this case, maybe he hasn't, well, the journalists have decided that he, he didn't behave properly. I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's a pity. It's uh, shameful, but it's, it's like that. You, you have to ac- accept it. Only one can win this title and they've decided this robbery. So you have to congratulate him. It's what I, Mm-hmm. I'll do if I if I were the president. Um, so often Real Madrid managers are judged on their record against Barcelona. Um, currently Real Madrid are six points behind them, uh, having lost at home 4-0 at the weekend, a very painful defeat to Barcelona. Do you think that Carlo Ancelotti is under any pressure, any more pressure than any other Real Madrid manager at the moment? I hope not. He's proven to be a very good coach. Uh, he won everything last year. Not easy to win La Liga and Champions League. He knows how to deal with a dressing room full of stars. And uh, I think uh, what happened the other day, of course, we didn't like it. It was uh, it it hurt uh, to the to the fans and to the people followers of Real Madrid. But Barcelona played very well. They did something. Very risky, knowing that we had very fast players like Vinicius and Mbappé putting mm-hmm. the defence 50 metres ahead of the goalkeeper. It was very risky, but they did it quite well and, and we couldn't do anything that to accept a defeat. This is what we've done many times. We know how to lift the spirits of the player. Uh, we look ahead always. We never give up. It's our DNA. So we are in October. There are too many matches uh, left, and for sure we will be we will be just fighting as always for all the titles we are going to play. And finally, Raman, just a quick word on Kylian Mbappe. He's not had the the best of starts at Real Madrid. Carlo Ancelotti uh, mentioned his finishing not being in its best the other day. He was also offside quite a few times in that Clasico. What have you made of his start? Are you still optimistic for his for his future at the club? I am really optimistic. I don't see many players like him, many strikers, so talented, skillful, uh, fast, uh, just uh, being able to score at any time. It reminds me of uh, uh, Ronaldo, the Brazilian, mm. when he started to play in in Spain. Mm-hmm. And I think it's, it's a matter of adaptation. He's coming from a different league, different country, different city, different uh, mates. Uh, so I I think he he will he will be in a in a few matches more. He will really score in the goals we expect. He he, he has to. And uh, I've seen many, many matches before he came here. And for me is as I said, one of the best players of the world. Ramon really appreciate your time. Thank you very Thank much you, for joining us. My pleasure. My pleasure as always. Ramon Calderon there, the former president of uh, Real Madrid. Yeah, and, really, really uh, interesting stuff there. Yeah, 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 I mean, interesting. I mean, if you can't just caught the end of that, Ramon saying that he felt that um, the club and the representative should have gone to uh, the Ballon d'Or. Yeah, I um, think so. Because, it, you know... I think they may look back and regret that a little bit. They had won some things, hadn't they? So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Team of the year. What's it worth well, to they, the player? Do we know? was joint award, I think, yeah. I suppose because, you know, either Ronaldo or, or, it's the or Messi, or I Messi said, won it so many times in a row it's, that... It, it, that it's it's now seen as a, a, a massive prize, isn't yeah. it? You know? I didn't realise it that many years since the Spanish player won it. As he said, you know, Rodri had a fantastic season and it's yeah. not completely out of whack. There were good performances by Real Madrid players, but the fact that he said, had he been president, 
I think he would have felt that they should, uh, you know, as ambassadors for the game and a great yeah. club, they should be there. But as I say, normally journalists are told they don't know anything about football. So it's interesting exactly. they've got so yeah, upset yeah. about an award that journalists uh, effectively decide on. Their um, goal difference is quite a lot worse than Barcelona and their, yeah. their points are a lot worse. So they've got a lot of catching up to do in the league. And if you've just joined us, as said The Athletic were reporting earlier on, apparently Vinicius had flown people in from Brazil fully expecting to win. Nike had come up with special boots and... Lots and lots of people were going to come to an after party in Paris that had been booked. Mm. So they clearly thought he was going to win. So it's a fair bit of embarrassment, I would think. You think so, yeah. Paul Hawksby and Andy Jacobs. Monday to Friday afternoons, 1 till 4. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.